up next from the hit show Blue Bloods, Will Estes. Our next guest can be found playing a Harvard Law grad turned passionate police officer who joined the family business on the hit CBS drama Blue Bloods. Take a look. I admit that I should have radioed in, but if I hadn't gone after that guy, he would have gotten away. What do you know? I saw an opportunity and I took it. Now I'm being punished for getting justice. You weren't looking for justice, you were looking for vengeance. Into. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of women in here. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, Will, you've been very, very busy working on Blue Bloods. Yes, we yeah. love watching you every week. Now the holiday's coming up. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Sleep? I'm, I'm going back to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. It's a little are? warm. It's warmer there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. It um, is. Yeah. Now, go ahead, Terry. No, that's it. Is your <laughs> Um, the, you, your first big role was in the new Lassie when you were 10 years old. Oh, oh. 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 So, that's cool. Oh, oh, well, can I ask a Did you fall down in a well and then Lassie had to come wrestle? Because <laughs> so that's usually how it happens. It happens, yeah. I, my dog barks and I, I, I go, what, Lassie's trapped in a well? We talk to him. <laughs> Yeah. But what do you remember about shooting that? I'm not, the, it wasn't the original Lassie. I no. I don't want to know that. Of course not. You're a million years old. Yeah, that was, I'm not, but um, yeah, that was, I'm never going to forget that one. Um, remember that? Did you get along well? Leave with, Will yeah. alone. Stop <laughs> it. Leave him alone, all of you asking him things. No. That, that picture, you were only 10 yeah. years old. Um, you started your career in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And I understand that later on, um, as you got older, you used to go to auditions and lie about who you were. That, well... <laughs> tell the truth here. People used here. to always ask me if I was related to Rob Estes, because my last name From is Melrose Estes. Place? From Melrose Place. That dreamy guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and you guys do kind of resemble each other. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and I used to start to try to entertain myself, so I would say, you know, he's my dad, but he doesn't really acknowledge me. <laughs> Anymore and like everyone's job, and I said, I'm just kidding, you know. And one time he came in at the studio before an audition and he sat down next to me. He had no. a meeting. And I said, Rob, have you ever heard this story? Because I've been saying that you're my, my dad, you know, and you, you won't admit that I'm your kid. He, he thought it was funny too. I was really glad. I'm lucky. Yeah, that was funny. Right. <laughs> you got the joke. Now, I must say, I'm, I'm just like really all over the place. You are so handsome. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but you now star alongside another handsome man, Tom Selleck. Um, okay, what is it like? What is it like working with him? He's, he's, inc he's incredible. He's incredible. You know, he's such a professional. He's so studied. Um, he knows his character so well. He can. He could write, produce, and direct that show, and he maintains that he just wants to act in it. But um, you know, when you work with him, you get to see how he's good at what he does. So it's mm -hmm. it's it's a treat every day. Yeah. And don't you find when uh, you're in a scene with him, mm -hmm. you know, because Tom has come on this show. When he walks in the room, mm -hmm. you're like, now that's a star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has this aura about him. It's like, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people, you know, look like movie stars. 
completely on film. He looks like a movie star when he's standing in the room. Exactly. You know? yeah. yeah. Yeah, he really yeah. does. Very yeah. true. Um, well, as your character, you play his son, Jamie Regan. Uh, did, I, uh, did I say the name, last name right? Regan, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I just started to doubt myself. Um, and uh, you, you do an incredible job playing a cop so well that you just scared me into fe fearing that I didn't pronounce your name right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever actually convinced anybody in real life that you were a real cop? Um, you know, I was standing on the corner once near Times Square and two men came up in suits and I know because of sort of what I studied on the show that they were detectives. Mm -hmm. And um, one of them said, let me ask you something, I want to ask you about something, something, I think he was asking something about the shoot or whatever else. And the other one said, he's not, he's not a police officer. And he goes, <laughs> and I was watching this happen between, this is them talking to each other. And he goes, he goes, he goes, what are you talking about? And he goes, the collar brass. And he's, and right here on the collar is, uh, on, on the show we have a 12. And that means the 12th precinct. Well, there, there is no 12th precinct. It's kind of like 555, <laughs> five, five, you know, for a telephone number for a television show. And I immediately knew who the better detective was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, oh. Will, thank you, everybody. Will, you are so charming. Thank you for coming on. You can catch Will on Blue Blood Friday night at 10, right here on CBS. Don't miss what everyone's saying.